Hello everyone. Today I'll show you some very useful settings that will work for absolutely any phone, regardless of brand or manufacturer. Whatever Android you have, what brand, what smartphone manufacturer. You can find all these settings yourself, without any programs. First, we'll improve your mobile internet. This means your internet speed will become more stable. Internet dependent apps on your phone will run faster, and you'll be pleased with the results. After all, you don't want to spend money switching to a different plan with a better speed. Nobody wants that. So today we'll set up these settings for free to maximize your internet speed, and at the same time, of course, improve your cellular network signal. This will solve many problems associated with a poor connection. For example, when you're talking on the phone and the call drops, you have to call the other person back, and vice versa. Now I'll show you all these useful things. Support this video with a like, subscribe to the channel, and share it with a friend. So watch carefully. The first setting will be dedicated to improving your network performance to slightly increase your speed. Of course, there will be a lot of settings. Go through everything without skipping anything, and it's best to use them to the fullest. I'll show you a bunch of them. So, first, we need to go to our standard settings. And here we're looking for the About Phone section, or perhaps, Phone Information. I'm showing this on a Xiaomi phone now. If you have a different phone, it will have the same options. Look, I'm going here, and here we're looking for the My UI version line, which is the version of our firmware. If you have a Samsung or other models, go to the About Phone section and find the build number below this line. You need to quickly tap it 5 or 7 times. The first time you try, you'll be told, Congratulations, you're now a developer. If you've done this before, you'll be told you don't need to do it again because you're already a developer. Then you can exit this menu and return to our standard settings. Here we're looking for the additional settings section. Here it is. Go here. At the very bottom, you'll see the developer options we just activated. If you have a Samsung phone, find the system section. There you'll find the same developer options line. Go there. There's no search here. So, you need to find an important feature that's usually disabled. This feature is called Limit Wi-Fi Requests. It reduces battery drain. Enabling it will achieve two good results. Your battery will drain less, and your network performance will improve. Enable this option and go back. Basically, we don't need anything else for the internet. Go back to our standard settings and select SM Card and Mobile Network Settings. If your phone has two SM cards and you've inserted both, select the SM card on which we'll be improving our mobile internet. For example, if I only have one SM card, I'll go to that one. Look, I also have an additional feature enabled called, Turn on Voltage to Improve Connection Quality. On some phones, it's available here, but it may be disabled, so just enable it. If you don't know how to activate this particular feature, I'll show you quickly. Go back and use our phone book, which is where we dial numbers. It doesn't matter whether it's the default one or the one downloaded from the Google Play Store. Go to it here, tap the dial pad, and enter this code, star 86.583. 583x hashtag Gavezda hash. Now I'll tap the star. Note that it says call, and you don't need to tap it. Just tap the star and you'll see enable at the end. Now let's check again. Go to settings, our standard settings, go to the card and mobile network section, and tap your SMS card. You'll see this feature may not be available on many phones, so when you enter this menu, you may see an empty menu, like mine. You just need to activate it. What do you need to do? Just enter the code again, star hash chalk, star hishiok 86.583. Star histok. Now I'll press the star again. Pay attention to what it says. I'm pressing the star. It says, disable, which means we need it. Now go back, and you'll see it appear. Just now, when you logged in, it appeared immediately. Sometimes it appears, and thus it's disabled, but the line is there, which is good, or it's fully activated. So now let's move on. Log out completely. Now I'll show you the settings you need to adjust if you have certain apps that are running slowly and heavily dependent on the internet. 
This could be YouTube, Messenger like WhatsApp, Telegram, Viber, Skype, or any other app you use. If it's running slowly and not working properly, even if you think you have a normal internet connection, this problem also exists at the software level. Here's what you need to do. Go to our standard settings, find the section called privacy. This privacy line is slightly different on the phone, so don't confuse it. If you can't find it on other phones, use the search function in settings. Go to privacy. Find the section called special permissions. Go there and find the line called unlimited mobile data. Go here. This affects all your apps. Some apps have this box already checked, so you don't need to do anything. Just enable it for the apps you need to improve internet speed for. For example, if YouTube is slowing down for me, I find it in the list. Look, there's no checkbox there. By tapping YouTube, I enable background mode. And now there's another setting below it. Unlimited data transfer. I also enabled this setting because the phone itself limits the internet speed for each app. If you play online games that depend on internet speed, find those games on your phone and enable this box for them. If your apps are working fine, you don't need to do anything. Next, I'll show you other important settings you need to change to improve your phone's network reception and speed up the internet. Go back to our standard settings. Go back to the SIM card and mobile network settings. Here, tap on your SIM card again. We're interested in the basic hotspot setting. On some phones, it may not be listed or may be shown as APM. In any case, find it. Go here. Find someone who's doing this for the first time. It might be empty. No problem, just create new settings. See, there's a plus sign, new, at the bottom. Tap it, and this menu will appear. It's possible that when you tap on hotspots, it will immediately show something filled in, rather than you seeing this menu right away. If you're setting everything up from scratch, you'll need to fill in the username. That is, it can be absolutely any value, that is, any name, like settings that need to be configured completely from scratch. For example, the type is set to default. No, we tap on this line and set it to chat. If something is already filled in here, just double check and make additional changes for the opinion type if necessary. Tap here. And you'll need to enter the basic default protocol and tap OK. It's at the bottom. Next, you need to set the open protocol for 4 and 6. Then we got to the channels section. You see, it's not listed. Uncheck this box and set it like this in the line. These values are all the way down to the lizard pie. And if your phone supports 5G, if you have these networks, you can also activate this button. And mine, for example, doesn't support it. I'll click OK. All these communication channels are at the bottom. And now we need to fix all this and save. Click OK again. And to save, it says you need to specify a name. But this is if we're registering for the first time. The name is not specified. We enter something, for example, and save. You need to specify the O in the same way. Enter whatever you want, that is, any name. Save again. Now we've saved it. And don't worry, these settings will significantly improve your connection, because when you buy a new SM card, you insert it into any phone and get the most standard settings, because the operator doesn't know exactly where you are. Maybe you're in a village with no signal or in the mountains, so it doesn't care whether there are towers nearby or not. It just sends everyone the most standard, everyday settings. Now we've created customized settings that work just for you. Next, pay attention to your preferred network type when logging in. For example, I'm currently on 3G. Check this yourself, because if your tower is very far away and I'm on 4G, your connection and internet performance may be worse than with 3G. It's also a good idea to reboot your phone after each switch. Ask yourself when you last turned your phone off and on. Most users probably do this every 3 to 4 months, and you might do it every 6 months. Yes, that's why with these settings, it's a good idea to reboot your phone and even let it sit for a minute or so, then turn it on. Like this video and subscribe to the channel.